now let us proceed solving problems on capacitors and inductors but before that let us uh, review recap the characteristics of the basic elements in a circuit uh, previously i have discussed on uh, the characteristics and derive the characteristics of the capacitors and inductors um, this table shows us the capacit uh, characteristics of the two elements along with the resistor para makita natin yung comparison. No? Itong table na to makakatulong siya sa atin para madaling makab makabisa yung mga discuss ko last meeting. So you can rewrite this, lagyan yung sa index card as your uh, copy formula. So ang kailangan nating relationship in circuit analysis with circuits na ang load ay capacitor, inductor, and resistor ay itong mga to, V and I relationship, the voltage current relationship, as well as the current voltage relationship, the energy stored on each element. Um, what is the formula to be used if you want to get or simplify the circuit? So series for series and parallel connected circuits. And <clears throat> kailangan din natin tandaan, what will be the behavior or characteristic of the basic element if the source is DC? So, Kung maaalala nyo, hinahilight ko to while I am discussing on the characteristic ng capacitor and inductor. So, in terms of the load, if the load is resistor C, if your source is DC or the source varies with time, same characteristic. So, all throughout the value of the capacitor of the resistor, let's say if we have 25 ohms, 25 ohms siya. But, DC source, meaning to say, the source does not vary with time, okay, this yung source, open circuit ang magiging behavior ng ating capacitor. So, gagawin mo, if the given circuit has capacitor and nakalagay doon, the source is DC, you open mo siya. While sa case ng inductor, short circuit, so shorted siya if the source is DC, okay? Circuit variable that cannot change abruptly, it is not applicable in the resistor. In the case of capacitor, Okay, the variable that cannot change abruptly is the voltage, while in the inductor is the current. So, kailangan natin kabis kabisaduhin to, especially when we're looking for the voltage in capacitor and inductor, and the current and the current also in the inductor and capacitor. Kasi, meron tayong integration and different, uh, magdi-differentiate tayo. Unlike in the resistor, all we have to uh, memorize or kailangan lang natin kabisaduhin itong mga uh, formula na to. Basically, these are Ohm's law. Itong mga to power formula and mandali na lang yung iba. But in the case of capacitor and inductor, uh, dahil nagbavary with time yung kanilang uh, waveform, as you recall, di ba may waveform sila? So, kailangan natin tingnan yon. Kailangan yung memorize yan. So, let us proceed on solving uh, let, let us proceed in problem number one. Okay, so yung mga first problems ko ay uh, about capacitor and yung mga latter problems natin is on inductor. And by the way, after this, next meeting will be your first quiz in the final term. So, yun, pakikalendaryo na yun. Okay, let us proceed So number one problem. The current... Okay, we have to calculate the charge stored in a 3 picofarad capacitor with 20 volt across it. For the first question and the second question is to find the stored energy in the capacitor. So, let us solve the problem. So, A muna tayo. This is problem number 1. Okay, calculate the charge stored in on a 3 Okay, yung given capacitance natin. Take note, uh, ito yung sinasabi ko na from the very start, we have to fa be familiar with the prefixes or suffixes na ang ginagamit sa ating subject. So, 3 pico farad, pico is raised to negative 12. So, 3 times 10 raised to negative 12 farad. With, ang source natin ay V, which is 20 volt source. So, ang required dito is the charge stored which is in column okay so pwede rin namang let's say nakapiko column 
ang makukuha natin. Depende. So, we have an equation for this. We know that yung una-unang relationship natin, that the charge, amount of charge, is directly proportional to the voltage across the capacitor. Diba? Yan yung ating formula. So, if you want to get V, IQ, we just substitute it. C, 3 times 10 raised to negative 12. Farad times 20 volts. So, Q is equal to 60. Okay, kung ikukumpit natin yan sa calculator, that is raised to negative 12 also. So, that, that is pico. Ang unit ng charge natin is column or C. So, this is our answer for number 1. So, simple lang siya. Madali lang yung ating number 1. Ang problema lang na kadalasang nakikita ko is yung mga units nyo. Um, given na nga na ang required is charge automatic, the unit should be in column. Or you can uh, uh, simplify that in terms of uh, suffixes or yung mga prefixes natin. Prefixes or suffixes. Prefixes. So you can write that as pico column or 60 raised to negative 12 column. Okay, simply lang yung problem number one natin, that is for letter A. Next, letter B. Parang mas maganda yung yellow. Yellow na lang. Mas maliwanag. Okay, find the energy stored in the capacitor. What is our equation in the energy stored? Or for the energy stored in capacitor? Di ba yan? One half CV squared. Actually, nandito yan. Kaya, I suggest power. Probably one half. I suggest that you have, okay, you should memorize those, yung table na yun. Dahil hindi kayo mawawala sa pagsosolve. C is again, 3 times 10 raised to negative 12 and V is 20 squared. So, ang um, unit for energy is joule. So, that is 600 raised to negative 12 or that is pico joule. Ayan. This is our answer for the stored energy across the capacitor. Okay? Simply lang yung ating problem number one. Let us proceed to problem two. Okay. So this is problem number two. The voltage across A, so given, lalagyan natin yung mga given. The voltage across A, okay, C is 5 microfarad or that is equal, equivalent to 5. Okay, 5 raised to 6. Farad. Okay, and the voltage equation. Okay, kapag meron kayo tayong voltage equation, ibig sabihin, this is an equation of the curve. No, equation na niya ng curve niyan. Hindi siya exact value of voltage. Rather, kailangan mo mag-substitute ko ng time. Okay, time domain kasi yan. Uh, uh, kailangan time... Uh, it is a voltage as a function of time. So, it means that the voltage varies with time. If you want to get any specific value of voltage, you have to um, specify what specific time or time interval. So, ibig sabihin, ang mag-view mo dito, it is actually a graph. Plot siya ng voltage versus time. Versus time. Okay, cosine siya. So, let's say ganyan siya. This is the equation. And then, if you want to get a specific value of voltage or for a time interval, you have to specify anong, let's say, 1. You have to specify what is that time interval. So, meaning to say, hindi siya constant. Unlike sa DC, constant, no? Kapag may resistor ka, ang load mo resistor and all throughout the time, the voltage across the resistor is constant. But it is different for the case of the capacitor and the inductor because the value or yung characteristics nila, as you can see in the table na pinakita ko kanina, they vary with time. Okay. So, ano pa yung given natin? So, ang required natin, we are required to find the I of T equation. Okay. Using this. Okay. And we have formula natin sa I of T. So, you can check the table. Ayan. I of T for capacitor. Uh, ito. I is equal to C dV over dt. So, we have to differentiate. Or, as I've 
mentioned earlier, memorize talaga natin. Dapat yan. I think problem 2 pa lang tayo. Okay. So, since, bayan ko ng kulay, yung ating equation 4. Parang hindi na maganda kulay. Ito. Equation for I, I natin. Solution. So, our equation for I is mm -hmm, CDV over DT. Okay? So, I I of T or pwede rin namang I. Same lang naman ang meaning yan. It tells us that uh, we have a an equation of current in terms of time. So, I of T is equal to C. What is our C? 5 times 10 raised to the capacitance. Kahit tanggalin nyo na yung mga figure natin. Okay lang naman yun. I am in unit, Farad. As long as yung mga prefixes natin ay naka naka ano sila, hindi sila naka prefix I mean, naka raise sila dun sa ano. Okay, para hindi kayo magmali mag mag sa computation. D over DT. Ano yung di-differentiate natin? The V of T. Ito, di-differentiate mo yung V. V equation in terms of time is 10 cosine 600 T. Okay. Now, uh, pag hindi differentiate tayo, syempre, itabi na natin yung constant Ito, ilipat na natin siya dito para malinis yung ating formula. And then, ang hindi-differentiate natin with respect to T is cosine 600 T. Okay, magre-recall tayo. Recall that, okay, the derivative of cosine U is negative sine U DU. Negative sine U DU. Our U here, ang U natin dito ay 600 T. Ang derivative niyan ay 600. With respect to, ano kasi yan, yeah, time. So, 600 constant, di differentiate T with respect to T. Diba 1 yan? Kaya, ang DU mo lang ay 600. Anyway, na aralan nyo na yan sa differential calculus. So, the derivative of cosine here is negative sine nu DU or that is negative sine, what is U? 600 T times DU. So, ang derivative ng cosine 600 600 um kapag nagsasolve kayo ng gan ng ganito you ha don't have to write this no ano ko lang to nirerecall ko lang baka nirerefreshan ko lang yung mga utak nyo para maalala niyo na 600 t times kasi kailangan mong hindi you 600 or that is negative 600 sine 600 t so, you can substitute, okay, I is equal to, i-simplify na natin to. So, there is 500, oh, sige, mamaya na muna. So, 5 times 10 raised to negative 3 times 10 times negative 600. Ay, wait lang, okay. okay, 600 ito yon sine 600 of T. Ayan. So, ito pwede kong i-multiply. Ayan. Ayan. Itong tatulong ito. Pwede na natin i-multiply yan. Ito, multiply na natin yan. Diba? Okay. Bye. Okay. 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 This is negative. Kasi 600 times 5. 5 raised to negative 3 ay 6 to. Sorry, this is 6. Okay, times 10. That is negative 0 0.3 sine 600t. Okay. Current ito, and niraise ko naman sa neg uh, negative 6 yung farad, volts naman yung voltage, so ang unit natin is ampere. Ganun lang kadali. Ampere. Okay, this is our answer for problem number 2. As you can see, ang nakuha natin is also an equation of current. Okay? It is a, a current as a function of time. So, kapag, ayan, I of t then. It is a current as a function of time. 